Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can display menu from database that is how you can display dynamic menu. So I have already you know <clears throat> in my previous video I have already shown you how you can create a menu panel and how you can add it and some menu panel and right now I'm just going to add a menu with user and icon is font awesome user and I'm also going to add one sub menu in which I'm going to add for sub user uh, like for user and I'm going to add a user list with URL I'm going to write user list.php and I want to display that and let's say order also one and add the menu now we have two main menu and two sub menu so let's quickly move to code remove all the other file as I don't need them I'm just going to work on my menu file so open the menu file in the menu file if you will just scroll you can see them there are two main menus feature and pricing so I'll be replacing them with my dynamic menu so open the menu table in database also open sub menu so in the menu table you can see there are four columns and in sub menu you can see there are seven columns so I'll be using them so let's comment these two because we don't need them we need to fetch our menu dynamically I'm just going to copy the ally element after that I am going to include the database file now I am going to write query for menu so query is select star from menu where menu status is equal to unable so after that Execute the query using MySQL -like query with database variable that is com. Now I need to fetch the menu from the executed query. So for that, I'm going to use while loop and inside while loop, MySQL -like fetch a shock and close the loop after the ally element. So next is replace the setting text with the menu name and in span also display the icon of the menu that I have already taken while adding the menu. You have to pass the menu icon as a class to display in menu. So let's check it in browser refresh the browser so our menu is displayed but our menu icon is not displayed as I have not included for awesome library so let's go and include that in our code so just open the head file and just copy the CDN link of the font awesome or you can download and you can use that I'm just using the CDN link if you will again go in through browser and you will refresh there you can see there are two different icons first one is for category list and another one is for user next let's move to display sub menu so from the setting copy the drop down menu 
and menu items and copy the menu query and after that remove the extra menu i just need one menu as i'm going to loop it so just paste the menu query change the table name in query to sub menu and status to sub menu status also change all the variables to sub menu so sub menu list query and copy that and paste that into mysqli query also change sub menu list res sub menu list data now let's change the text of drop down from add menu to sub menu name that will be fetched from database after that i need to change the url of the sub menu that is h ref so in that i am just going to write sub menu url and one more thing that is left is i need the menu id because i want to display like below category it should just display category list it should not display both the menu like category list or user list so for particular menu i need to display only its drop down not any other drop down right so get the menu id as we have already stored menu id in our sub menu table so pass the condition in sorry like pass the menu id in where condition so let's move to browser and check if it's working so let's refresh the browser and there you can see a uh, below the category there is category list is displaying and below user there is user list and if you will click on category list the, the url is going to change to category list dot php so that's what we need if we click on any sub menu so it will be redirected to any other page so it's giving an error because right now i have not created that category list dot php so that's why it's giving object not found error and same error you will get in user list because i have not created both of the pages right so if i'll add another menu for user so let's say user add user user add dot php and i want to display that and order is going to be second so there you can see in the user drop down now there are two and if i'll move to some menu table you can also see there are two user and i'm going to change the order of that so you can see order is not changed as i have already changed in back end so let's write in query order by sub menu underscore order ascending order and also i want to display the menu or not so let's also put that into where condition so for that i have column sub menu display and its value is going to be yes now let's check it in browser so refresh the browser so after refreshing if you will click on user 
now you can see add user is on the top so that's where your order is working of the menu right and if you will change display to no in the database and if you will refresh here again there you can see the user list is not displayed so you can control your menu is going to display and on which order like at which place it's going to display so you can control these by these two columns that is sub menu display and sub menu order so that's for today i have shown you in this video that how you can display your menu from the database so in the upcoming video i'll talk about the user permissions so thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video